absolutely robbed. We just got absolutely robbed. Look at Philly from eight to one, pushing us back to three. San Jose gets to stay in place. Ugh. Oh, my heart. My heart hurts. This would not happen in real life. You kidding me? Chicago? Original six team? Oh, they would not let that to happen. Oh, my goodness. Ah, uh, this sucks. <laughs> but, hey, at least that means the Sharks get bedard. Hopefully that happens in real life. That won't happen in real life either. Uh, welcome back to our Chicago Blackhawks franchise mode. The lottery has been decided. We got pushed back to three, as you can see. We also have the 13 there from Pittsburgh, who did miss the playoffs. So that's kind of good. We'll still get a good player there, but we will not get one of those franchises unless one of those people make a stupid, stupid mistake, which is very unlikely to happen, I think. So, well, we'll still get a pretty sweet elite there. Ah, a little bit, ugh, a little bit unfortunate. Yeah, that's all I could say. A little bit sad about that, but we got a pretty big draft in front of us, guys. So hit that like button right now as we go into... No, 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 not that. Um... I don't think anyone major retires here. Uh, Jumbo, Weber, uh, Kessler, yeah. Kind of some of the normal ones. Jordy Ben, wow. But yeah, nothing really major. I doubt any goalies are retiring. No. So pretty pretty standard first uh, batch of retirements. Thornton becomes a coach. Maybe we pick him up. Uh, Labrie, Ben, and Weber all become scouts. I'm surprised Weber didn't become a coach. And... Uh, I think, are they both Chicago? Or is it Hartford Wolfpack? <laughs> I don't even know. Um, I thought it was, I can't remember. Uh, it doesn't look like we have a retire. I can't, what's, I thought, is our AHL team Chicago? No, Rockford. Ah, I forgot to check. All right, whatever. Ah, we'll, we'll get there. <laughs> Let's go to, uh, the pre-draft interviews here. Say, so, yeah, Vitaly Mayorov would have been awesome. Bedard would have been awesome. But we're getting pushed back here. Chance Mayers, uh, Brody McKenzie. I think these are. Both members? I can't actually remember. Hmm. That might be too many X Factors <laughs> for, a, for a member here. I'm trying to remember all the names. I'll write them down if I think they're a member, obviously, so we keep track of them and whatnot. But, yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, we didn't get any report on him. We will be uh, doing some interviews here just to... Uh, Kind of see what some people are. And see if, uh, well, we could check ETA. So if he's NHL ready, he's not a, uh, a member. Because uh, I don't believe any members will be listed as ET, uh, NHL ready. Because the highest overall they could be is 77. I don't know that might. But most of them should be at yeah, two-year ETA. No, no, that's a member. Yeah, okay, so that says NHL ready, so I don't know. Depending on X-Factors, that might be a member. I'll keep try to keep track. OFD would be pretty neat. Anywho, um, let's see. We I know we have the 13. I don't know what he is, man. Dvorsky. Yeah, hard to say. I wish I got someone figured out around here. Is Jaeger Elite? I can't remember. Might be. So this this Yulkinen guy may actually be an elite here. But also this is probably high top six. Interesting. Alright, well, what the heck do I use these interviews on? Just a nice likely power forward here. We know Halt Haltonen is an elite way, way the heck back here. Pretty interesting. There's some good stuff here, for sure. It all depends on if... If we can maybe get a couple picks here. It's, oh man, low elite here. Who's this guy? No, he's real. I'm, try I'm, I'm trying to think if there's maybe... Ooh. Colby Pisani. Elite goaltender here with two-year ETA. Good gracious. 18 to two year ETA might have to pick him up. May indeed have to pick him up. All right, I don't know if any unknowns here would be worth. Let's see. The low elite comes in 
a little bit earlier, but it might be... This guy's real, so you avoid him. Maybe one of these unknowns we, uh... Oh, wow. Hold on, how did I... Oh, did I re... Oh, yeah, I re, uh... Resorted, no wonder. Alright, I have no clue about this guy, but he's up there, so let's... I know it's a member, but I want to know what the heck kind of player it is. So we're going to use an interview on Craft Miner here. We'll see about ETA, play style, and then personality. Those are three ones I always kind of snag. Sniper. Two-year ETA. So 70 or 73. What kind of person are you, Craft Miner? Well-rounded. Typical hockey answer. <laughs> All right. Yeah, we'll see if you put our jersey on. The Chicago hockey team. Okay, so that's one. Yeah, he was the rest of the world, so we have no idea. These are all going to be high sixes. You have quite a few of those. Might be worth it, because I... Yeah. This was, I think, one of the people who, were ran, who was randomized, too, so I have no idea. Let's use an interview here, and then we'll use that last one back uh, in that second to try to see if we can find another low elite, possibly. Uh, so, yeah, two-year ETA... What kind of player? Two-way forward, all right. Not my most sought-after thing, but it, it can work. Two ways can be pretty good. You know, remember, remember, like, uh... Oh, my God, I'm forgetting his name now. <laughs> uh, but, uh, the hell? Oh, in Toronto. What the hell is that? The fucking 30-year-old rookie. <laughs> Mm, I can't remember. Uh, I'm, I'm blanking on the name. Goodness gracious. Anyway, it was a two-way guy we could play on, like, the first line. He'd jump up all around. So they can be good, anyway. Michael Ludi there, two-way forward. A couple playmakers. Playmakers might not be too bad. David Gustafson. Rantala. Oh, man. They're both quite good. All right, last interview here. We'll go all the way back. Uh, he's in the second round. So the first low elite came in here. Julius Smith, a sniper on the wing. Weak character, which isn't great. Not you. It was this person. Bar no, no, no. This guy, I guess. Eh. Goalie, I see. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. That's another goalie option. Well, maybe we lay off that. Because... Where was that other goalie coming in? Hold on. There he was, yeah. I mean, you probably favor the elite. Let's see what it is, just in case we miss it. I think this is a member, actually. <laughs> I know we have someone who always chooses an Italian. I don't always remember the name. It's not a name of a food item this time. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Play style, ETA, hybrid. I never interview goaltenders. One year ETA. Oh, man. Ah! Okay, well, I can exit out, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, new topic. Whoops. I clicked too many times. Come on, give me the personality. Do it. Alright, come on. Consummate professional. All right. Professional goaltender. I'm kind of interested to see what the... Uh, I think it might be a high starter at this stage. Oh, of course. It puts me all the way back to the top. Okay, man. There's Pisani. Low. Huh. Low franchise, maybe, goalie? That's my only, yeah, that's my only bet if it is a member. So interesting. Low franchise with one-year ETA. Hmm. Maybe, I don't know. Do you prefer the two-year and the one-year at this stage? Probably the two-year? Interesting. All right, well, there's our interviews done. What kind of pins do I have? Just one, huh? All right, hold on. Let me uh, see what else we want to pin. 
Yeah, okay, that's a high starter for sure, yeah. Alrighty. So, a few goalies to choose from, essentially. And he should have, what, two-year ETA? Yeah. Uh, yeah, we already know about him. Okay, unfortunately, no other, no medium elite steals, but kind of maybe expected that out of this first draft here. Damn, dude, this is the only low elite that I had. Unfortunate. Top six here, but we may have too many other good things popping up at that time. Wow, no, damn. Okay, there's another starter back here. Yeah, the ETA is not going to be great, but whatever. Okay. All right, well, I can't really pin too much. Yeah. All right. So, mid to late rounds, going to be more uh, <laughs> guesswork. But, uh, lol, Columbus Blue Jackets win the cup. <laughs> First year. The Columbus Blue Jackets are your Stanley Cup champions. Wow. Um, presidents went to the Islanders and the Oilers made it but lost to Columbus. Imagine. Individual awards. Matthews, Art Ross. Matthews, Hart. <sighs> yeah, it looks like they didn't give out the Norse. As I suspected. No Norse winner. Very interesting. Um, Lady Bing to Matthews. Shane Wright with the Calder. Voracek with the Conn Smythe. Markstrom Vesna, Sorokin, William M. Jennings, DeMello Masterton, uh, Dallas's coach with the Jack Adams, Selkie to Kopitar, Ted Lindsay to Austin Matthews, as well as a Maurice Richard. So he took home some hardware, but not the most important one, which went to Columbus. And uh, I think, uh, uh, yeah, San Diego. San Diego won the Calder Cup. Okay. So that's that, Mrs. That's That. And now... We get into the draft. Let's do it. We got, uh, yeah, no one. Oh, man, I was hoping for another one to move up into the top 10. New York is willing to give away their 11. We also have the 13 after that. What's around the 11? Some of those t high top sixes might be worth. Might be worth. Also, that Yulkinen guy who I... It could be a medium elite, honestly. NHL ready, dude. That's the thing. If he's NHL ready here, maybe he's not a medium elite. But I thought Jaeger was an elite. Mm. Tuomas Julkinen. That's interesting. It's really interesting. And he's gem. Kind of a risk, since I don't know for sure, but... Hmm. Who? Tough call. We also have things back here. Couple low franchises by the looks of it. Maloney and Cody Smith. Goal scoring. Power forward. Hmm. With flexibility to play on either side. Center. But if he's a sniper, it's not as good. Then, of course, is Casper Holt in it. Man, there's a lot of good stuff. So, in the way of... I keep clicking in when I'm moving up. It's... Uh, I don't know why. Whew. Hmm. We have some time to decide. So Chance Mayer is DFD, but he is NHL ready. Whereas Brody McKenzie, not NHL ready, but oh wait, actually he is NHL ready. Hmm. Shutdown ability, great puck move. Wow, shutdown ability on an OFD? Ooh. Well, that's looking quite good. And then this is a DFD on that right side with two-year ETA, though. And then this should be an elite, yeah. Oh, Bo, Bo Fortin. <laughs> oh, man. It's a tough call. I'm, try I'm trying to just strat it. There's so much good stuff. We have, pick-wise... We do have something at the 20. Then we have the 33 and the 45. Oh, yeah, we have too many. So, if I were to move up maybe into the first again, I could move a couple seconds, and then we'd have the max amount of picks. I'm not going to get like five first. That's a little bit over overdone. 
And I definitely want one of those guys in the second. So if we keep the 45, we can get the goaltender. Then we trade like the 52, maybe this one. The 33. And move up for one more person in that first. So anyway, there went Mayor off. Medium franchise, 80 overall. Sharks have the next pick. So okay. Late first. What do we really want? Probably want one of these guys. A low franchise. 26. We can tactically get it with the 20. Because there's nothing else really. So do I have to... So we have the 20. That's our late, latest pick. Could get him with one of those. And then maybe... Do I want one more? So skip some of the... Those guys. There is Halton in, man. Ethan Gauthier. I don't know if he's actually... He might be high nine right here. Kind of feels that way because he's after the medium fours and sixes. Tweery DA, man. Kiskinen, not guaranteed. NHL red. He's g That's got to be a uh, four, right? Even Damn, this is a... Really mixed draft. I mean, Halton is there. This is going to be like 2003 uh, level of drafting. Very, very deep first round. Yeah, if we wanted to move for one, that would kind of be the one to move for. Because the 20, nothing really right here. I mean, there, you know, some medium sixes, but why get that? We can get a freaking low franchise. Sometimes they don't work out as well as you want, but damn, that ceiling is much higher. All right, let's see if there's something we can move for there around that 25, 26. Absolutely, we can grab the Ottawa's 26. So let's look to do that. Trade two of our seconds for it. Which would be the 33 and the 52. We'll hold on to the 45 to get that goaltender. So that's insanely doable. Could we get a nice second? Next year, Washington's. What about their own? Probably maybe in year three. Because we already had, as I recall, max picks from next season. Yep. Oh, even over max. So yeah, I definitely don't want another second from next season. Let's try that. Not quite. Damn. I don't really have any other pieces I can give up. So, maybe a couple threes from 25 and 26. Maybe. Probably not. It might be too much. Ah! <laughs> it's our pick. I'm going to call a timeout just so we have time. Yeah, Bedard did indeed go to San Jose. Yeah, 26 is the one to move for here. I don't think I'm going to be able to get two threes, but I'd love to do that. Those are That's a good medium elite territory for the steals. Nah. Might be just one of them. So, do you keep the 25 or the 26? Let me check my 25 draft right now. We have three firsts and 25 too. Good God, we're stacked. That's amazing. You can use them for either of them. Let's go 25. Let's get them as early as possible. If they're there. That's the thing. That third year draft can sometimes be very bad. I might even prefer the fourth year for that medium elite steal. Let's go with that. There we go. All right. That trade was made. Why did our cap drop down so much? It wasn't there before. We didn't even trade a player. Anyway. Done. Done. And we have five picks in the first uh, two rounds. Yeah, I don't think I need to move up to that 11. I don't think there's a big, big reason. Because 11 versus... it's. I mean, you have more ch choices. You know what? Yeah, we may make, make, miss out on... That's the thing. Julkinen. I have a really good feeling he's an elite. Like a really, really good feeling that he's elite. I don't know if he is, though. Because, like... But high top sixes can't appear before elites. 
I think that he's elite, man. Which might be a really, really good person to pick up there. The NHL ready, it kind of does worry me, I'm not going to lie. We have to miss out on some of the high sixes. Tough call, man. It really is. It's really, really a tough call. God damn. It's, it's a risk. It's an absolute risk to go for it. I have a good feeling that he's a medium elite. But also, he might be... Size and skill, magic hands, puck protection. He might be like... Uh, moving up to the 11. We have more options. Like maybe get a sniper. Or another sniper. This sucks. It's really tough. There's so many choices. Similar to Tarasenko. Man. Kind of a little upset. I wasn't able to get his uh, player type, but... This is taking me a sec, but this is, this is a big friggin' step here. So 20, we get the low franchise, and then this one we get Houghton, who is a right winger, to be fair. Uh, maybe I skip that guy, or don't grab him. That would maybe involve me moving up to get more options. Yeah. I would have way preferred a playmaker. I really would have. I don't think I can move up this high. There's two right here. Jonas Rantala or David Gustafsson. But unfortunately, nothing is available right there. Unless... Conservative buyer. Okay, how about the eight? Oh, no, it's Buffalo. Seller. Maybe Winnipeg's. Maybe. Um, uh, Let me check. Let me just see. Conservative buyer. Do they want my 13? They don't. It's quite a value difference. I don't really have anything that I can afford to give up. What is Korczynski, OFD? I hope not. He is. Ooh, actually, now I'm leaning towards grabbing the DFD. He didn't really grow a whole heck of a lot, though. Jason Dickinson. Khrushchev. Young enough. Playmaker, though. Ugh. Ugh. Reichel's a nice third, fourth liner. Alexi Sorella, probably not panning out. At least in the way you want. Let's try throwing Sorella. You're likely going to have to really... Oh, I should have just kept him in there. Likely really going to have to go overboard value-wise. So we'll see how worth it that is. I don't think we have any unsigned. Nope. Oh, a couple. Both probably two ways. Savoie. Probably keep him. He's growing better. That may not be possible. We have like, can throw in one more piece. Here's the thing about Korczynski. We have to commit to being like, yeah, that's our guy. And then we choose the DFD to maybe go with him. We have Seth Jones, who's a two-way. 
28. He'll be at the latter stages of his career by the time we're competitive. But we may end up using him in the top four. Korczynski may not even make top two. I can't really bank on him being the guy. Dickinson can probably go in. Okay. They accept that. All right. Now, we're able to maneuver into the top 10. We lose our 13, obviously, or swap it. But that's okay because this is, we're still in that same realm of players. Now we get much, much better choice. <sighs> I may even have to use another timeout because I'm still undecided. OFDs, ugh, or DFDs. It's so, I want, I want them all. To your ETA. Mayors. I don't think, it, I don't know. It almost sounds like a member. I almost want to say it is, but the, the X factors are throwing me off. NHL ready, though. OFD with X factors. I, we can hope to get a shutdown guy next to him. I feel like OFDs may be a bit harder to come by. Not so much for them as far as members go, though. <laughs> I know people, if they make defense, would usually make OFDs. There's been a bit more. Like, see, DFD, DFD. Also, Craft Miner, but. If you do this, though, you're essentially saying Korczynski's gone. Unless you want to use him in the top four. Which may not be the worst idea, but I don't know, man. I, he's also not built in the my be, my best way and my favorite way. All right, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna go with my gut here, Brody McKenzie, D, uh, OFD right side, 79 overall elite, 79 overall elite. Hopefully, I won't regret that. Hopefully, we could find ourselves a DFD in the next draft because that's gonna be pretty important. And on the left side too. I mean, it won't be. You know, you can kind of mix and match, but you pro you probably yeah, would like a lefty. All right, Montreal at number four. Select Chance Mayors. I'm going to put that in there because I feel like that may be a member. If it's not, I'll delete it later, but yeah. All right, Chance Mayors. Seattle. Select Craft Miner. 70 overall. Elite. So, yeah. All right, hold on. Let me get that in there. Just gonna write everyone down because we're gonna check uh, all their growth and stuff as we as we go here. All right, on the Kraken you are. Arizona, we'll select Kerry Scholeval. Oops, <laughs> for so I somehow activated. <laughs> Shit, I somehow activated. It's still what the okay. <laughs> I accidentally. <laughs> I accidentally clicked the mic thing, so it was picking up and typing everything that I was saying. It was th scared the shit out of me. All right, anyway. Let me get that name in there, too. Joe Laval in Arizona. Oh, my God. What the hell did it just autocorrect to? Cholus, Cholacalciferol. Okay. I don't know what that is. Some element. Don't mind me. I'm just looking at, in amazement at my phone. Anyway, our pick here at 7. Now, I think my, my choice is pretty clear. It's either Rontala or Gustafson. There is Bo Fortin here, who is a center, but a power forward, I think. Not as, yeah, while he is an elite, it's not as interesting to me as a playmaker, really. Eh. Which may seem a little nuts, but we're going to get a power forward later, most likely. Now, yes, you could have multiple ones, but I don't want to pass up on some a center playmaker, man. They're, they're, they're so good. Center playmakers are the ticket. And we have Cody Smith here, who we can easily grab, who's a power forward, I believe. Pro release, puck protection, offensive instinct. Eh, I don't know. I can't remember, but he's right there. If he's not, we can grab a power forward later, but I feel like he is. Low franchise, man. Yeah, I think, I think, think we go for that with our 20. See, so, yeah. So either Jonas Rantala or David Gustafson. Is there much of a difference? Playmaking 200 foot game. They're both, I think, both higher overalls. One year ETA. All right, we go for the better ETA, I think. Jonas Rantala. Yep. My name is Jonas. Get him. 
77, center playmaker Jonas Rantala. Welcome to Chicago. I'm sorry. <laughs> All right, so there's that. Buffalo. Let's see if they grab the elite or what. Yeah, they get Bo Fortin. <laughs> so there he is. Let me put you in there. I'm trying to organize it as I go so I don't have to redo that later. At least roughly in order of uh, teams. You're on the Sabres. Blues will likely get... There he is. Troy... Whoa, that was not who we expected. Troy Robinson goes to the Blues, though. Alrighty. Hello, Mrs. Robinson. Okay. The Devils will select a center because that's what they do. Hey! <laughs> David Gustafson to the Devils. My goodness, of course. Why not? All right, you go on the Devils. There's going to be a lot here. So 34 divided by 2. Yeah. Math, 17. Uh, okay, the Rangers will select. Oh, I was really hoping. Damn it. I was really, really hoping. Oh, they're off by one, you dumb fucks. You could have had your biggest fan. Oh. <laughs> so close. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, buddy. You're even like our scout said, maybe even higher, but unfortunate. They go for Michael Ludi, who I think was on the Rangers before a few modes ago. Oh, that's hilarious. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Poor, poor you, man. All right, on the Rangers, Michael Ludi. Mini. Looks like you're going to Mini there. Yeah. Your mom's a hoe. Your mom's a hoe. <laughs> going to the Minnesota. That goes before Montreal. Um, yeah. I hate having to type this name out. I feel, feel silly. <laughs> there you go. Dude. I really want, I wanted it for you. Just, just bear in mind, I wanted you to go to the Rangers, but the game didn't like that. Winnipeg, Jeff Parker Manza going to Winnipeg. So there you are on the Jets. No, not the Jers, the Jets. Thank you, phone. Vancouver. Hey kids, I'm a Vancouver. Jokinen. Yeah. Okay. So he's a two way. Okay. Yeah. He would have been nice, I'm not going to lie. And I was right that he was an elite, but a two-way elite on the wing, not as interesting. Center, sure. Wing, mm, nah. Not my favorite thing. Uh, Dvorsky, elite. Dalibor Dvorsky. 72, so he's not a member, but that's a pretty nice player there for the Devils. There's your, there's another center. <laughs> I mean, I legit could have had him if I figured out a way to keep the 13, but meh. All right, Capitals. We'll select Brendan Yeager, 72 Elite, the Ducks. Uh, Zach Benson, 16th, nice, Elite. Golden Knights, uh oh, who's the unlucky soul? Carl Marks! All right, man, oh my god, are the Vegas Golden Knights based? They selected Carl's, Carl Marks, they might be based. My goodness. Okay. Hold on, let me move someone here. I allowed the Arizona guy to. Slide down. Hold on. It's not what I want. There we go. Sorry. I'm as I said. I'm trying to organize the list as I go. So that's uh, the reason for the delays here. You're on VGK. And the Bruins. Oh. They select Matt Walsh. So, I don't know. If, yeah, we've had someone on the Bruins before, but it's not too often. So, there you are, Mr. Walsh. Me, Sir John. There we go. And our pick here at 20. Where we will inf we'll skip the rest of the members here. Well, mostly well-endowed Baker. Isaac Wallace. And we'll go straight. So Maloney's also here, but I don't know for sure. I actually don't know for sure if he's power forward. I'm just assuming he is. Lacks size. Yeah. Goal scoring. This might be like sniper. I didn't grab a sniper. Did I? No. I got a... Mm. I mean, I'd be cool with either one, but less important for a center. 
Less important on the center at this point. I'd rather have a flexible winger, I think. Hey, he's only 5'11". Maybe he's not a power forward. <laughs> or maybe he is a power forward. He's just beast mode. Oh, but he has better ETA? No, they both have one year. Hmm. Ozzy, Ozzy, Ozzy. I mean, the flexibility to play center also is not bad. It isn't bad. We got a playmaker and the OFD. It's a real tough call, man. I'm not going to lie. Behind the net. Overload. Hmm. And this is guaranteed that he likes behind. That's probably better. Behind the net is actually probably better to have. Yep. All right. I'm going for Cody. Power forward. He was indeed good. I want, I, I preferred that at that stage. Nice offense. Not a strong skater, but expect that for power forwards. Hell of a shot. Hell of a shot. Nice. Okay. Cody Smith, welcome to Chicago. New York has another pick. They'll likely get the Oz. No, they go for Well Endowed Baker. See, Rangers, if you went for your mom's a hoe and then Well Endowed Baker, it'd be thematic. But you fucked up. You fucked up. All right, well, you got two guys on the Rangers here. Two guys on the rags. And it's not the fucking big fan of them. <laughs> All right. How'd you like Couture spoiling that shutout last night, Zinthi? Get fucked. <laughs> thanks for the thanks for the loss, though. Appreciate it. Nashville. We'll get Billy Crystal. L.A. Oh, I'm so sorry. Isaac Wallace. Oh, he's an enforcer. Why does L.A. always pick up the grinder and enforcer members? <laughs> oh, that's fucking hilarious. Um, Minnesota. Yeah, okay. Before Minnesota. Mr. Wallace. All right. There you go. On to the Kings. Rip. But you're their kind of player. All right, Montreal. And another member there? No, they get Cam Allen. That might... Is that it for the members? No, they're... Yeah, Maloney. Oh, yeah, that's right. Maloney. He goes to the Hurricanes. Okay. There you are on the Canes. And then our pick here at 26. I guess we're going for Houghton and... So here's here's our sniper. That's right. I was I'm like eh, sniper somewhere. Yeah, we're gonna get a uh, Casper Hultwinen because yeah, two year ETA sure, but he's guaranteed sniper. He's also a big boy, so he's almost a power forward, but he's a sniper. Size and skill, size and strength, hard wrist shot. I think we gotta go for that. Yep. Let's grab a uh, Casper here. Another winger. Nice 69 sniper. Let's go. 69. And I know we have... Alright, I'm going to try to see where the last guys are. I think we only have... They should be goalies. Scary Carry is a goalie. Okay, goalie and goalie. There they are. I think that's the last two. <laughs> I'm trying to count. We got 14 listed. I drafted two of them. 16. 17, 18. Maybe there's more members than I thought. Doesn't matter. Anyway, at least I'm not missing anyone, which is the important part. Maybe, yeah, okay. It must be... Maybe Chance Mayers, in fact, was not a member. Let me... Well, here's an easy way to tell. I'm pretty sure he maybe is not. Even though it's... Yeah, it's too many X factors. Okay, so he's 100% not. Okay, now my count's back to good. All right, my count is back to good. There you go. Delete you. There we are. Okay. So I just wanted to make sure on that. All right, Calgary at 27. We'll just go up to our next pick, I think, which is at 45. I'll scroll back and see where they go because that'll just take too long. Uh, well, there went, there went on God Singh. On to the wild. So he'll be joining your mom's a hoe. <laughs> I don't know how I say it. Do I try to... Do I, do I say it like a goddamn... Finish name or do I just do I say the meme? I feel like I should say the meme. But goddamn. 
And the other one, Scary Carrie. He went to the Red Wings. Carolina. Okay, there you are. Scott Carey on the wings. There we are. All right. And that is all the members here for the first year. And that should be 17. I'm pretty sure it is. Oh, yeah, there's also that guy. Um, Yeah, we're going for the goalie. It just makes way more sense. Weak character. Uh-oh. Still going to grab him? <laughs> Still probably grabbing him. Yeah. I mean, we'll pretty much have... Yeah, it's it's it'd be stupid not to grab him, dude. He's a two-year ETA elite goaltender. Let's be real. Colby Pisani. 71 medium elite. With X-Factors. Yeah, it would have been absolutely stupid to not pick this guy. Ridiculous. Absolute ridiculous. Um, just making sure. That should be only four. Yeah, those... Or, sorry, five. That was four in the first and one in the second. And I'm making sure I don't have anything else. Because I don't want to break my rules. Okay, we did five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yep, and still under 12. So, boom. Alrighty. Nice. Up we go to the 65 here. I'll look back here. See if we uh, see what else went. Low elite. He was 65. We knew about him. Oh, wait. Low franchise goalie. That's right. To Riley Barassi. Goes to Nashville. To Nashville. Uh, the wild after the wild. Okay. Come on. Listen to how I type. There we go. On the Preds. So there you are. Now that should be Max. <laughs> there you go. And then onto the top nines. Low fours, low sixes. And here we are with the top pick of the third round. Unlikely to be anything great. I don't think I have any more pins either. I have one pin here at 170. Okay. Okay. I can hope for trying to find a medium elite, but good luck in this first year, especially. But I think we've got to swing for the fences here. Or go way off the board. Jeez. Tomaso de Luca. Real person. Real person. All these are real people, besides Omar White. Three or ETA? No, nah, that's not going to be great then. If he's three or ETA here. I don't think so, at least. Nothing great, man. Two year ETA. Hold on. Huh. These are not two year ETAs. Who the hell is that? Yoan Sedin. Oh, here's another one. Okay, maybe. Maybe not. They're saying to go for this guy. Julius Stoner. Huh. I'm kind of I'm I'm wondering if maybe they're low elites with that two year ETA. I don't think so, but it might be worth picking one. The right side is less of a priority, although our scout is saying to target him. We should no, we can't get him with the next pick unless I have one there. I'm going to go here. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Damn it. Oh, it's, it's one overall difference. Okay. Damn. Yeah, okay. So the other one's not going to be that either. Unless I I don't think so. Oh, wait. It's in the third. Just making sure I don't miss anything. I forgot his name, but it will see. It. Ooh, nice. Shit, Rom. Oh, wait. Is he still there? Oh, he's 100% going to be still there because he's at 90-something. I can still grab him. 
Yeah, our scouts are saying, I don't think he's going to be that, though. I, I No, there's no way. There's no way. But then again, there's really not going to be any medium elites here, either. And I don't have any guarantees or anything like that. On ETA, I mean. This is the location where you'd want to look. Three-year ETA, I don't... That's... I mean, it could be. Not going to... Like, it could be. But we saw that. It could be 66, and it's all right, right here. There's... Yeah, right there. There's a 66. That, that would be listed as three-year by the game. At least... what it sounds like there's three year yeah there's no way okay skip that stone i don't know the scouts are saying to go for him i'm just gonna do it yeah low four same thing up to the 97 we go oh there's a couple threes there did i miss anything not really ah yeah leslie medium four that's pretty nice. Then a starter, but I don't really care about that. If I knew that guy was five year ETA, I may just take a chance on him, but he looks like a real person. An American in the sea. Yeah. Nothing. Keeps bringing me back to this guy, Omar White. Three-year ETA, though. I don't think so. I really don't think so. If I knew he was generated, but I don't. Nope. That looks like a real name. Well, I'll just take a gamble. It'd be really good to have an elite with three or ETA. It can happen, like, but it's it's rare. I don't think he's going to be anything, but I'm going for it anyway. No, he's a bottom six. <laughs> bottom six. Rip. 129. Come on. What else was here? I don't think we're going to see much of anything. Again, it's hard, harder to find steals in the first couple of years. They start cropping up three, year three, year four. Yeah, nothing. Absolutely nothing. All right, when was that last guy coming? 170, our next pick. All right, well, I'll just I'll go off the board here for anyone who looks like they could be. None of them really look like they could be any. Damn, dude, this sucks. I think both of these guys are legit real. The only, like, this one seems like that's too real of a name, right? Oh, that guy's guaranteed for your ETA, which is likely not going to be anything. Nah, there's nothing here. There's the only chance, Michael Lander, because he might be five-year ETA, but it's highly, highly unlikely. There's just, unfortunately, nothing else, really. Yeah. Legit nothing. So, you take a chance, but he's not going to be an elite, I don't think. No, he's a 7D. All right, let's finish this off here. Oops. Oh, I didn't have the, ah, whatever. It's a starter. I'm not, I'm not too worried. I should have checked, but if it feels better than just a starter potential, doesn't matter. Uh, I might just take Dennis off here because he's going to have the best value. So I'm just going to do that. And we'll increase the value of that pick. A little bit of min-maxing right there for our last pick. And that'll do it. I didn't scroll back there because, again, first couple years, they're all going to be pretty trash. And there are a lot of real people there. But we had a really good draft like that. The first and well, yeah, our first five picks were out of this world. And <laughs> yeah, after that dropped off, but that's okay. That's, this is what we want. We want the high end talent. And we got McKenzie, Rontala, Smith, Haltonen, and Pisani. Pretty solid, pretty solid first draft right here, right there, right here. All right. Up to the resign phase we go. So we got 43 guys under contract. Couple need to come back. Hunter to see you got stack growth. Okay, probably want to hold on to him. Probably can hold on to Domi too. Yeah, we need guys to play. 
Let's do three years. Yeah, he, he might be able to keep going. Can get more stat growth. Domi is likely going to be our 1C, so probably two years. Because we traded... Wait, 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 wait. Where is... No, 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 yeah, he was our 1C. Never mind. Sinking of Alaska. Let's grab Domi, too. Two years should be fine. Khrushchev. Playmaker. I mean, in this context, yes. Because he's going to likely get top six time. We'll give him three years because he'll still be RFA at that point. Three by two or something like that. Just to make sure we lock him in. We need to spend a bit of money anyway. Might as well do some of it here. Caleb Jones, hold on to him because why not? We'll just offer him exactly what he wants. Jack Johnson, I'm just going to do that. All right, Brody McKenzie can play. He says top six, but he might drop uh, have that drop down. But he'll be AHL no matter what. Not amazing, but I'll hold on to him. All right, you know what? Let's do the... There we go. Jujar Kara and... All right, so Regula. Yeah, keep Regula. Let's max out a two-way for him. Well, I'll have to... Oh, yeah, I'll max it out. He might not accept that because... Yeah. Jujar Kara, I think I'll just let go of. I'll let go of some of these guys. What did I have too much of? Okay. I can get like two more defensemen. Or keep two defensemen. So, Mitchell. Yeah, he'll be RFA at least. Okay, uh, Tenorti. No, you let go of him. Hmm. This guy probably not going to do much. 72, 20. Mm, none of them, really. You, maybe you go for this guy because he's got the the most time. Like that guy, he's, he's got to make 6, 7, 8 ETA in two years. Not happening. Or <laughs> overall, in that amount of time, that's not happening. That guy, same thing. I'll keep the guy with more time. Crudel. Okay. Back to all skaters. And at this point, we'd probably keep the rest of them because... I'll sign him. That's that's an entry level. Yeah, I'll keep the rest. Not you, though. All right, all right. Keep everyone else besides him. We can get multiple years if they're young enough. Yeah. I'm just... At, at that point, it's like, ah, oh, he's decent overall, so you can play the AHL. That, that's his last two year right there for Robinson. Um, I'll check. Actually, I might sign a couple other guys. Eh, oh well. No, probably not. I was thinking, oh, maybe they could play AHL. Maybe I leave them off contract. I don't have the best coaches yet. All right, let's go here. So, like, Cody Smith, he's in Oshawa. Leave him off. Well, no, exemption. Um, Haltonen, you leave him off contract because he's only 69. If he was in his, like, mid-70s, I'd sign him for AHL. Uh, Jonas Rantala, hmm. I want to control where he plays, actually. Let's grab him. The rest of them, will obviously, we leave off contract. Goaltender-wise, Pisani. USA. He could be an HL backup, honestly. But maybe I leave him off contract because he's not listed as that. I might, just to be safe. We'll let go of Staylock. We'll hold on to Soderblom. Let's do three years till he's done growing. We'll overpay him a little bit. All right, and we'll have Mrazek and Soderblom. We might want to get an actual backup. This guy could be, yeah, he'll be starter. All right. Yeah, I think I leave Pisani off for a year. See what happens. Anthony rejected. So did someone. I think that was Kara. Oh, man. If, wow. Lot, oh, my God. A lot of people rejected. Wow. 
That was a lot of rejections right there. Yeah, well, Anthony is definitely coming back. Three years. All right, I, I probably tried to undercut it too much. We'll go up to five. Again, if he gets more stack growth, amazing. Choose our Kara. Why didn't you want to accept this? Max out a two way. Yeah, I'm not losing Regula. Oh, I think he doesn't. Yeah, he doesn't like that. So, all right, we'll just max him out on a one year. All right, we can go up. Doesn't really matter. Probably just max them all out, huh? <laughs> just to get them signed. Yeah, let's just do that for whatever they want. That should be it. Yeah. Advance another day. And they should all accept. There we go. All that's done. 39 contracts. They leave us some space to get some guys in free agency. All right. We're looking good. Yeah. May have some extensions to do. Man, now I'm like, uh, do I sign Haltonen? I think I'll wait. I'll wait. We need, we need to get at least two goaltenders. So that's going to put us at the optimal kind of range around the 40 mark. So that, yeah, that'll be fine. All right. To free agency we go. And first things first, we'll check possible extensions here. Johnson, Radish, Black. Oh, that's it? Yeah. Nothing really major. Reichel I kind of like because he could be a nice third, fourth liner. So maybe I want to lock him in now. I can get four years at like a mil. Sure. And it'll still be RFA. Yeah, let's do that. Ent whistle. Nah. Mraz doesn't want it. <laughs> okay. So we have, we have to spend a little bit of money here. About 13, 15, 13 to 15 to hit the cap floor. Uh, <laughs> but he's uh, tendered, obviously, as is Timo. <laughs> oh, if only. Wants a lot of money. Wants a lot of money. Yeah, we're not going to be going for any top guys. That's quite obvious. We're not that type of team. But uh, hilarious what's available. Jari's got some stat growth by the looks of it. We can grab someone. Yeah, the only one who's really got that stat growth potential, uh, excuse me, potential is uh, Brossois here. Kind of low mid 80s. 82 is pushing it. You want to look for like the 83, but it could work for Brossois. So that would fill in the starter position with Mrazek backing him up. So Brossois, Mrazek, and then. I need someone to start. Dostal. Wait, don't I have him? Yeah, you know what? I have him in yeah, uh, Alaska. I'm going to avoid that. Holy crap. 69 at 20. Lennox. Is he tendered? No. Well, he can't really start. No, he doesn't need to. We need a backup. Duh. Yeah. I think we go for Lennox here. That's ridiculous. Absolutely. We're going to go for Tristan Lennox. Yeah. So there's that. You're likely not going to find any. Yeah, we don't really need any skaters anyway. Well, we might need one or two. Just to fill out roster spots and stuff. We'll see. Oh, actually, I'm going to need to spend money. Duh. <laughs> yes, yeah, so we will need like a skater at least. Or two to fill out and spend some money on. But that's it. Draft in the books. Draft in the books. And uh, what a strong one that was. So a good start to the rebuild here in Chicago. A good crop of young talent. We're going to probably have at least two more years of drafting heavy. And then start trying to put those pieces together. And become a winning team once again. So... That will do it here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Remember, of course, to hit that like button. And I'll see you in the next one.